Hello and welcome to another episode of Conversations in English on the English Transformation YouTube channel with me, Paul, and... Hi, I'm Rory. Fantastic. How are you, Rory? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm very good. I'm not much changed from the five minutes ago when we made the last video. As you can see, I haven't changed my, uh, my t-shirt. Never mind. Um, so, right. what are we going to talk about today? What conversation are we going to have? Just a short conversation. I was thinking that since we are both teachers, um, we, are. we should talk about a teacher that you admire or a teacher that has inspired you in some mm. way. Um, I hope you you're going to talk me? about me. Because <laughs> I'm going to talk about me. <laughs> oh, I'm not. Okay, we'll, we'll so do you out. have a teacher that you admire or that um, has oh, inspired you in some way? A teacher that I admire. The one that stands out that first would come to my mind would be actually the guy that I was talking about in the previous video about my health. Okay. And he's not strictly a teacher, like an English teacher or a history teacher or something like this. Um, but he does do lots of seminars about health okay. and mind, body and soul types of things, uh, personal development. Uh, so he would be the one I admire. As I said in the previous video, I met him uh, when I was scuba diving and then he invited me to his place in Broad Beach to teach me how to breathe and do qigong and this sort of thing and about diet. Um, so he taught me a lot about personal development, how the mind works and how to, how to get out of feeling bad and overcome depression and these sorts of things, which is no easy task. And so he, he learned a lot from other people about health and the mind and the body. Uh, so yeah, he would be the person uh, that, I, that I admire because his skill level is very, very high. He knows what he's doing. He is highly professional, very caring, and can present the information. Not only does he know a lot about the subject, but he can pass that on to other people. Because lots of times people know a lot, they're experts, but they can't teach it. Yeah. Um, but he can do all of that. So Nam Baldwin, thank you very much. Um, yeah, okay. would be, he would be the person. And what admire. would you say is the most important thing you've learned from him? Not probably one thing. Okay. On the, the diet side, of course, but then doing things for the, the benefits that they will bring you. So if you have to spend money on, you're going to buy a surfboard or something, and that might be a lot of money for you. Not thinking of it in just three, four, five hundred dollar terms of money, but what experiences are you going to get from that? So it's, it's more than the, the surfboard, for example. Um, it's going to make your life better in many, many ways. He, learn, he taught learn me. He taught me how to um, speak English properly, obviously. <laughs> um, just how to think better and how to control my emotions. Okay. And not to care what other people think I still have a problem with that, um, but how to get out of negative feelings and change your state, just basically feel better okay. in any situation. So yeah, okay. that probably, which is, and then I teach that to my students as well, and it seems to work, yeah. people seem to like it. Oh, that's great, that's great that, that you've learned something so important from him, mm -hmm. and that you're also able to um, pass that on to your students in some yeah. way. Yeah. My wife calls it Nam things because there's not really, I don't know how to say what he does. Um, okay. He teaches Mick Fanning, um, a championship surfer, Australian Olympic teams, okay. various disciplines, um, and me. So <laughs> lucky me. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how to explain it so much, but my wife calls it Nam things. Okay. So I just say I'm, I'm going out to do Nam things and she's, she's okay. happy because it makes me better. Um, oh, how, how about you? Who's a teacher that you admire besides me? Um, of, course. of course, besides you. Thank you. Um, I, I've got two teachers that I really admire. 
Um, the first one was actually my grandmother. Mm. Um, my grandmother was a kindergarten teacher. Um, cool. And she was a, a kindergarten teacher for a very, very long time. Uh, she taught uh, some of uh, Honduras's ex-presidents. Wow. Um, and y yeah, yeah. Um, but what I admired about her as a teacher um, wasn't anything that she taught me because she was never actually my teacher. She was just my grandmother. However, from a very young age, I knew she had been a teacher. And she, um, she lived in a house in, in this town in Honduras that was very close to the center of town. And uh, whenever we w would visit, there would always be former students of hers that would drop by uh, to um, bring her something, say, um, oh, we bought these extra mangoes here, uh, teacher, I brought you these mangoes, or oh, here, we made some tamales here, have some tamales or um, just, just pass by and say, hey, teacher, how are you? Where That's are you nice. going? Um, yeah, and she really, that really showed me what an impact a teacher could mm -hmm. have because she was a kindergarten teacher, yet these were people that had grandchildren of their own that were still decades after she had taught them. That's still good. had this like love an admiration for her where they would bring her you know presents or drop by and say hi and update her on their lives or on their children's lives or so nice. I, it, I really became aware of like what a big impact a teacher could have mm -hmm. on someone's life that decades after you've been their kindergarten teacher they still like had this appreciation for you um, and the second teacher that I really kind of um, admire and who sort of inspired me um, was my eighth grade math and literature teacher. Wow. Uh, so, Mr. Reeser, hey. And, and what's so cool about Mr. Reeser? Mr. Reeser was the first teacher that I actually kind of saw as a human being. Generally, I feel when you're in elementary and high school, you don't tend to see your teachers as actual people. What did you think they were? Uh, I don't know, some robot that was there to torture me. I had a student on the Gold Coast in a school, I won't mention it, but he got a job. Uh, he was helping out in the staff room. And then he said to me that he kind of saw behind the curtain and he didn't realize, he thought that the teachers were just robots yep. and that they would go in the staff room, push a button, they'd turn off, push a button before they come out to class, turn them on, and, and yeah. they'd go and teach. Yeah. They, he didn't see us as, 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 as people, as people. Either. yeah. And, and, and it's, a, I think, especially, uh, maybe not as much when students are adults, but especially when you're a child or a teenager, you see teachers mostly as r robots that are there to torture you. Um, and like give you AI homework. gone bad. Yes, Something and give like you this. homework. The Terminator. And just hold you there and you know not let you do stuff. So your grandmother um, was not that, obviously. Definitely because not. Because everyone that. loves her. But I never saw her in class. Mm. I never saw her in any sort of class. She never taught me. Um, Did she teach you like a grandmother might teach a granddaughter? No. Was she? No. No? No. She would have taught you something how to bake cookies or. No, she never had to bake cookies. People brought her oh. cookies. <laughs> she never had so to So she bake taught cookies. you indirectly to be a really cool teacher so and then people, people will bring me things. look after you. Yeah, I was very successful mm. this week. I got to give a gummy bears. Is that which right? Which are my favorite. If one of the 29 people watching this want to send you... Want to send me gummy bears. Gummy bears. Um, but yeah, no, Mr. Risa was the first teacher I actually kind of saw as a real person. Mm. And... Um, he, he used to do really kind of funny things in the classroom to break up what was in particular boring lessons. Mm -hmm. He'd, um, while we, you know, maybe were doing a, an assignment or answering reading comprehension questions, he'd get a banana off his desk and pretend it was a phone. 
or um, he like when we were studying or reading something he'd walk around like a robot and I just thought that was like why is this man doing this how old were you at the time um, I was in eighth grade so I, I don't know what that is I, I think I must have been 14 13 or 14 well, that's a hard time to teach people. I don't want to teach teenagers. It, it's, it is, but he made it funny. Hmm. Cool, well done, Mr. He Risa. made it like so that we Are you going to take him. him some tamales or something when you back you know to Honduras next? what? He, he, was, he was an American. Okay. Um, an American teacher uh, who now teaches in Oklahoma. He, um, he also kind of like help like hung out so you're with you still know where I have no idea where my teachers are I I know mr. Reeser he um, yeah we he kind of like created a, a an atmosphere where we were very welcome to come and talk to him about our problems and so he um, he, he did become a little bit more involved in our lives than maybe perhaps some of the other teachers. When's the last time you spoke to mr. Reeser uh, very or communicated he, with him. he uh, he sent me a, a message just this week. No way. Yeah, yeah. And um, I've seen him several times. He he stopped working at the school um, where I was. Uh, I think the year after that. Then when we graduated from high school, he came back to Honduras for our graduation ceremony. Whoa. And uh, I've seen him several times since then. Uh, he was traveling in London when I was living in London, and we went out for beers at the pub. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah. So Does he know? He knows how much of an effect he had on you. How much you like yes, him? Yes, yes, yes. He does. I've, I've, I've told him that, and he, he, cool. he thinks it's funny that I am now an English teacher since he was my. Since you were a terrible English. student in his English I wasn't class. bad, I was good. I imagine you would have been a very, you would <laughs> um, have been a very good student. I'm but sure. yeah, he also went to teach uh, for uh, a time. He taught with ESL, so he taught mm. English language to um, uh, the Afghani police. Wow. He was, um, Is there a big yeah. call for Afghani police to learn English? I suppose um, there must be for uh, him it, to do that. It was during the, the, the Afghan sort of war and he... Um, went with the military to to train wow. people to, to cool. speak English. Yeah, um, we should have him on the uh, we channel. Should. We should call him and we probably can arrange this interview him. That would be really cool. Yeah, we probably can. Yeah. But yeah, he's a teacher that's really like inspired me um, to connect with my students beyond just um, the. The, the content that I have to teach, mm. but to actually cool. find a way to make it interesting, find a way to make it relevant to their lives. Um, so yeah, he's someone that's really inspired me. There's a there's a um, teacher at my daughter's school, and when she was first enrolled, the other parents or her friends' parents said that we were very lucky to get this teacher mm -hmm. because some of the parents of the children going there had her as a teacher, and then. Now my youngest daughter is starting next year, and different parents have said, is she getting this teacher? And everybody wants this teacher. She's a primary school teacher. Okay. And she was fantastic. Yeah. And she must be good because the generations around yeah. where we live all want this one teacher in the school. So whether hopefully she will, cross my fingers. Um, which is it's nice to yeah. be a teacher that teaches well and goes beyond, as you said, just giving the content got to do it you teach I had this conversation just recently this week that it's not just teaching the content you have to teach you're teaching people not just numbers yeah. and for a lot of teachers I think they teach just the number mm. they just they may as well not be there yeah they're just presenting information not everybody of course no. but I think you have to teach you're teaching 10 or 12 or 15 people um, so it's got to be as cool as Mr. Risa yeah. or Miss Moss in my daughter's case uh, and you and me, Yeah, hopefully. Cool. Um, if you guys have any teacher that you particularly admire um, or if you know of a teacher that has done really amazing things, um, make sure you comment and tell us a little bit more about them. Give them a shout out. And yeah, 
maybe connect and tell them what makes them such a great teacher. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Rory. Can't wait. I, I've got to go now and watch um, my daughter in a Christmas play, uh, which will be, I'm very excited about, as you can hear in my voice. I'm sure it'll be great fun. Um, but I could stay here all afternoon and have different conversations with you sure. on YouTube. Uh, yeah. So I'm looking forward to next week when hopefully we can do that again. Uh, let us know in the comments below what topics you would like us to talk about and uh, we will do our best to do that. Like and subscribe. Have a fantastic day. See you next time. See you next bye -bye. time. Let's see if those recorded, shall we? <laughs> uh -huh.